X Lod Gen and Dindalod. Two tools that drastically enhance the the appearance of Skyrim, uh, the Skyrim Wilderness. Uh, very, very awesome tools and uh, a huge impact on the immersion of Skyrim. So in this video, we're going to install x and Dindalod, as well as setting them up to uh, work through Mod Organizer 2. All right, so let's go ahead and start with x Gen. This is a utility used to generate LOD meshes and textures exactly like the CK. Make sure to install x outside of the main Skyrim and Mod Organizer 2 mods folders. All right, let's do that. Click on download. It's a mega site. Click on download here. Great. I'm going to close this out. Uh, let's open up our download folder. Minimize mod organizer here. And we're going to extract the contents, the contents to a folder called xlogin, but do not put the folder inside the main Skyrim special edition or mod organizer 2 folder. Nope, we're just going to put it into our mod folder. So we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it X Lord Gen. Great. Let's open up that uh, zip file archive. Oh, it's already named for us. Oh, well, just go one step further to get the, those contents. Highlight all of that and drag it into that newly created X Lord Gen folder. Close that out. Delete the download. Close the download window. All right, now we're going to create a new folder called sselodgen underscore output at the root of a drive. So I'm going to put mine in the root directory of my C drive. So right click, new folder. Uh, I'm going to just um, copy it here because I'm lazy. Highlight that, control C, come back over here. Rename the new folder, control V. <clears throat> control V, thank you. Enter. All right, that's done. All right, once the above is done, open up Mod Organs 2 and add uh, xlogin64.exe as an executable. Piece of the cake. So here's Mod Organs 2. Click on these double gears here. Click on the plus sign. Add from file. And it's still pointing to MPC 1.2. So we want to go up one. So Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. That's what I'm calling my mod folder. There it is. There's xlogin. There's executable, 64.exe, click open. Very good. And one more step before we're done. In arguments field, we're going to put this here by referring to our, our drive. Okay. So since we're just going to change one thing, we're just going to highlight this whole thing here. Copy that. In arguments folder here in xlogin, 64 arguments, paste. And we're going to place drive letter with the drive letter of whatever root directory you the drive that you that you chose. In my case, it's my C drive. And that's it. Click apply. And then okay. And everything's good to be okay. All right, next up, Dindalod standalone 3.00. This is a utility used to create a mod based on the load order, which adds custom distant lots for objects to Skyrim. So let's go and download it. It's gonna be in a miscellaneous file section of wherever this is. Files. Scroll down, here's miscellaneous, Dindalot 3.00. Click on that, manual download. And if it did not automatically download, click download. All right. Then extract the contents to a new folder called Dindalot Special Edition. And we're gonna put it in our mod folder. So let's open up our download folder. Yeah, I downloaded it twice, whatever. Let's look into it. And it's already got a nice folder for us. So just drag that folder over. There we go. Good stuff. And delete, download the files and close that window. Once that's done, we're gonna add uh, TextGen64 and Dindalot64 as execu executables in Mod Organizer 2. Let's go and close that out. So bring up Mod Organizer 2. Click on those double gears. All right, let's click on the uh, plus sign, add from file. We're in NPC 1.2 still. So Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn, one up. Locate Dindalod, and there's both of them. There's Dindalod 64, TextGen 64. So let's do uh, TextGen 64 first. Open, 
There it is. And we got to add something into the arguments field. Uh, dash SSE arguments minus sign. It's next to the zero on your keyboard. And then SSE. Cool. Click apply. Very good. All right. Click the plus sign. Add from file. Now we're gonna do dindalod64.exe. Open, same thing, arguments, dash SSE, and then apply. Okay. Easy peasy, right guys? Pretty easy. All right, that's the end of this video. Next video, we're gonna uh, set up Zmerge. I'll see you there.